Hi and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Haslab Hiss Hiss Driver. Finally, 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 here he is. He's number 99. New artwork that they completely did. Again, it's, it's the same artwork that you're getting on the box. Now, I am going to say this video is probably going to go a little bit faster. The figure is actually already out as this is the last one that I'm doing. I reviewed everything else, but to do shots and pictures and stuff like that, I kind of had to have the driver out. So I am going to go over them. I will link, <laughs> I will put a link at the end of the video that goes to the Ron Rudette, his tactician. So you can see exactly what it is because it's the same figure, just different color. So anyway, I'm going to take a look at this here. Okay, 788. Cobra right here, number 99, the file card system. I'm not really going to get into that. Here is pretty much the exact same thing that we got with the Ron Rudat one, and we will compare it. But what we are going to do, like I said, is we're going to compare this to the O-ring, and we're going to see how close it is. We'll see if they did a good job of updating it while still keeping it very classic. But there's not too much to say. Again, artwork looks absolutely awesome wonderful so anyway let's get to this again before i do start if you've been following me on instagram and you're wondering why you're not posting any of this stuff any of this stuff it's because that account has been banned right now um, i'm not gonna say why you probably know it so if you want to follow me instagram a punk with underscore toys that's because if you start typing it in a punk it should populate and then you can find it follow me there also, if you like the content that I'm giving you, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video. But now let's get to this. It's already open. It'll be quick for you and me. All right, so here he is. He's out. And as we can see, it is number 99 or 66, depending on how you look at it, Cobra. 66 as we've mentioned before again so this one here if you drop it down on the ground there's nothing on the bottom it's going to say 99 cobra and if you spin it around number 99 finally done properly but oh well <laughs> they're gone and then here we have the coffin not black and white again same artwork i think it would have looked better in black and white i do understand why they do the color here just a little bit different but again here's what you're going to get and that's the coffin so let's get to the figure. Again, I've already really reviewed them. Now, I will say this. I heated this one up and I moved them around. Now, I tried my best not to really articulate them, but I kind of had to. Um, same ar same articulation as you get with the Ron Rudat one, the His Tactician. So you got the, your, you have your T-pose, bicep, double elbow that is pinless because it's a completely new design. Head moves back and forth. Forward, up, down. Gets a really nice looking down though. Does have the ab crunch. Swivels back and forth. Now the biggest problem that I had, and I mean, I had a big problem. I had to heat it up really, really bad. Was this left leg here was just completely stuck. It was not going to pivot either, either way. Um, I had to heat it up really good. Then dry it off because I like to use the water method just so you can get a good grip on it. And then just kind of wiggle it back and forth. And I kind of moved it back and forth like this to get it to pop. When I say pop, it's just the plastic just pops in it. Um, so if you're having an issue, please, in the comments, let me know. Everything else is the same. It feels really nice and smooth. The figure just really moves nicely. Again, it does have this here, this ankle swivel rather than a boot cut. I understand why they did it, and it's hidden pretty well with these figures, at least with this figure, because it's all black. His tactician's a little bit different. Then you have your ankle rocker, so all in all, it is pretty nice uh, when it comes to all of that. So Now, the other thing that I kind of noticed is that the arm is either not cut properly. If I look at this one here, and he seems to go down maybe a little bit more to set closer to the waist and it is not because it's hitting this but this one here does not really want to go down and it has to do with the cut here just not being enough now someone will probably post in there hey you know what you could go in there cut a little bit more but i just don't think that i should have to i think this is a design flaw where they really need to incorporate that 
So you can get the arm to go all the way down. Now, yes, this would be obstructing it. I'm not going to argue that, but you do want it to flow all the way down. And here we have, again, the butterfly joints, as you can see, and they really don't cross over. Now, is that because of this? this it's hard to tell. That might have something to do with it, but all the other figures, for the most part, except for Zaymon and Tomax, don't do that. All right. The other thing that I want to mention, because somebody in one of the comments tried to say that the female figure uses the exact same chest armor as the male. He's like, just look at the back of it. Well, there is nothing the same. These bucks are just completely different. They're on two different scales. I mean, he's almost an inch taller. And the back, even though it's designed the same, because it's supposed to look the same, it's not even close to being the same. Hell, a matter of fact, you can see where the peg is. There's actually not a peg on the actual uh, armor here. It's in the middle. And on this one, it has to be up on the armor because of where it sits on the back. So I'm not sure what they were trying to say, but that is completely different. Everything except for maybe the thigh holster is different. But no, even looking at the thigh holster, it has these little slits here. This one doesn't. Ah, so this one does. So that's a little different. So yeah, so these may be the same because maybe they built the thighs fairly the same. It's hard to say, but everything else is different. It just looks the same. So I'm not really sure what they were trying to say. If it's just someone throwing shade at Hasbro because, you know, they don't like it or whatever. But anyway. All right. So what he comes with when it comes to weapon-wise, he comes with this Chris Vector. Magazine does pull out as a giant magazine, although it does stay in really nice. I'm not a huge fan of this. I've already talked about the bottom piece. Now, the reason why this is here is because that is how vectors are actually made. Uh, but to get his hand in and the trigger finger, it is a pain. Also, my issue is this is very soft and flimsy, so it doesn't stay where it needs to. This just kind of pushes out of the way. Now, you don't always notice when you're taking the pictures or it's in there, but I would rather this be nice and solid so his hand turns to where it needs to be rather than this. But this is how Hasbro does their stuff. You have the bayonet on it, which looks like it's meant to actually collapse. I have never mentioned this before, but it looks like it's meant to actually collapse down. Now, obviously, it doesn't. Now, the one thing that I don't like about these, and I'll, and I'll actually mention this here, because of how soft it is, and I said I don't need the super hard rigid plastic like you get with Valiverse or NECA, Boss Fight Studios, Mythic Legion, stuff like that. But because it's so thick, the blade could never be useful in combat. I mean, it is, it is really thick rather than being thin. Now, it doesn't bend, and it doesn't look awful, but the aesthetics, when you take pictures, you definitely can tell. It's like, oh, is that just like part of it shooting <laughs> rather than it actually being a blade? So that's what I don't really like. The design on this is pretty nice. All right, I'm fine with that. And again, it is pretty straight. Now, I did bend the stock, so maybe that's the reason why the stock hey, it just doesn't seem that bent. And then you got the sidearm. Which I've mentioned I really do like, but I will say when you hold it in their hands, because I had it in the tacticians, it seems very small. We'll plug this in here. And then we have the two fists that when Lenny uh, talked about them, he said it's kind of like, hey, these guys are going to be on the ground sometimes fighting. They're going to be outside of the vehicles fixing the tracks. They may have to go hand to hand. So you're going to want them to have some sort of not even brass knuckles, but just metal fists. So when they're punching people, they're going to hurt them. It doesn't matter if they're wearing helmets, body armor, something like that. It's not going to hurt their hands. So I do like this. And again, with Big Boa coming, they might work really well going toe-to-toe -to -toe against them. So now let's go ahead and take a look at these two figures side by side. Um, actually, you know what? Before that, we'll put this to the side. We'll look at this figure, then we'll compare the two. So they give them the same display here. So they can kind of communicate, they can see what's going on, see maybe what the, what's going on with the hiss tanks, uh, with the schematics, where they're at, different things like that. You have a nice chest armor. Again, I don't see any issues with the paint. 
The mask is the same. You have the black mask, silver that goes around. It's almost the exact same as this one, although I would say this is more like a candy apple red than the actual Hiss driver. You got your paint on the uh, on your gloves or your gauntlets over here, elbow pads, the knee pads. There's no issues with the paint, and it does it does feel different. It reminds me of the Snake Eyes in Storm Shadow Movie Wave. And there's a few other figures that are doing it, and it's just a shiny gloss, which I'm okay with. Uh, and the boots and everything look really nice. So let's compare it to this figure because people want to know: Are they the same? So obviously, you can see that this is one. This one is worn. This is my childhood. His driver and you have the you have the silver the silver snake on the blue background which is obviously his chest armor now i love the fact that they put black accents around it now maybe this is where they come in and they say hey you know what we're going to make this all red you're going to get your classic version and a retro card but i like the way this one looks <laughs> you can see where it kind of sticks up here same as up there, and even the lines where it's you know where they painted it black, running down here, you can see where those lines actually are, and even the pieces that hold that chest piece on, they're all right there. So they did a good job of looking at little details. As I mentioned before, there are so many details that I have never seen because you don't look at it when you're a kid playing around with this stuff. They made the eyes, like the visor, have that more like point look which I think sometimes we've seen um, Scott Summers from the X-Men have. I like the way this face looks better. It's just not as round when it sticks out because this looks more like a regular mask. Where this here looks more like it's uh, maybe a mask or maybe a shield there rather than just um, the, uh, <laughs> the mask that we had to wear for two years. And then at the top, you can see the ridges that run across and we always noticed that, and I'm glad they did that. But they brought it down, so it's not as high on it. So we do have the gloves here. Now, they went the gloves all the way down, along with the gauntlets, where he just has regular gauntlets. And on this side here, you can remove this when we put the fists on, and then you're going to have the same look. So if you do want to get rid of that, you are more than welcome to. We look at the belt here. If you get a close-up look, it's just a circle, and you have that circle here. They just went black all the way around, put that little blue around it, so it does accent here. No sidearm, but the boots, as you can see, well, once again, we are coming into that point where if you really want, you can kind of look at, um, you can come up with a uh, BDSM Cobra group, <laughs> but it does have the rigids. That kind of run through it i think it looks really nice i think they did a really good job if i look at this i'm going to say hey you know what that is a hiss a hiss driver and on the back even you have the plate of armor now, they didn't put a plate of armor they made it go all the way around but you can see right here those little ridges so again doing a really good job of taking the original figure and doing an update and i think it works well with a lot of these cobra troopers because let's be honest they were always they were always futuristic anyway all right so hands pop out really nice and easy take this off as i mentioned and the fists just pop right on so as you can tell they're very oversized so this is going to be nice the hands aren't oversized but this fist that goes around it is oversized i mean he's ready to take on any joe that comes in and wants some hand-to-hand -hand combat but of course i think if snake eyes or storm shadow show up and yes storm shadow is a joe not a cobra so and they both come off fairly easy now these things do not move all right they just plug in they're not going to move up and down they're just right there that's how they sit and you can get them to fight Anyone that you want, including this guy. Now, I'm going to say that, hey, probably not going to be uh, as effective going it up against Ryu here, Ryu. But, hey, you know what? At least he's got a chance with some new stiff hands there. Ooh, don't knock your 
counterpart down. So let's pop this off here. Put this on. Throw this on here. And now we will see the struggles that come with this weapon that he comes with. Now, lost a fist. So pretty much you got to pull this hand out. Again, I hate it. I hate this weapon. Everything about this weapon just, it doesn't work that well. But hey, look at that. This one went in nice and easy. That's what she said. So there we go. I was actually able to get that on. <laughs> I feel like I should do a shot right now. That's exactly what we're going to do after this here. So. Again, these figures are really easy to stand. They got nice big feet, big boots. You don't need stands. I'll say it over and over again. You don't really need a stand if you know what you're doing. So, a good figure for the most part. Again, Ron Rudat, and I will post that at the end of this video if you want to watch that video if you haven't so far. But here's that Hiss driver, how he compares to our O-ring. And again, our O-ring had no weapons. So, hopefully if they give you, give us a uh, retro they don't take away all the weapons <laughs> and leave them completely bare without anything all right let's wrap this up all right my final thoughts on this is i really do like it again you did have i did have to heat it up a little bit and i do have an issue with the arm going down all the way uh but again the heat no big deal that is all part of toy collecting i know people don't like it but it's part of toy collecting. How it compares to the O-ring, I think they do a really good job. And I can already see where if they decide to do uh, another version, a retro version, how they're actually going to do the paint compared to this one. But all in all, these have been wonderful figures. I don't see too many issues other than I'm not a big, huge fan of these weapons. But that has kind of been talked about numerous times. But anyway, if you are looking for this figure, you got to buy it on the aftermarket. Make sure, I forgot to mention, there is no tape on the box. So make sure that if someone is selling it and you're going to buy it and open it, make sure you open that up and make sure it has the right figure because you definitely could get screwed. All right, and just like that, that concludes everything to the Hiss HasLab. That is the final figure. I've reviewed the actual Hiss tank, all four figures. Is there anything else to do? Oh, there is. If you are wondering, I mentioned that I will be comparing the HasLab His Tank to a 3D printed His Tank. And again, they are different. People have tried to sell you that they're the exact same or theirs is better. They can print these for $17. BS. It's not true, but I'm definitely going to compare it. And I think people just need to see the differences. Not because like, hey, you need to go out and overspend for this. Just know that, hey, there's a difference. And there is nothing wrong with the 3D printed His, just for the record. Just for the record. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. But before I do, as I mentioned earlier on, if you are following my social media, Instagram, I'm sorry, Twitter, TikTok, A Punk With Toys. On Instagram now, it is A Punk With Underscore Toys because of some a-hole on the internet that lies and makes up stuff about G.I. Joe and then deletes content and steals content. But I'm not going to get on that. If you want to find out about that crap, tune in to Monday Night Toy Ramblings, 9 p.m. Eastern, every Monday. Except not this Christmas, because even this Bah Humbug needs to take that day off. <sighs> that felt good to say. Last but not least, I'm going to get out of here. If you haven't yet, but you stayed this long, take a second. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a G.I. Joe video. They're not all like this, that is for sure. This one was a little bit different because I already had the figure out. But normally you're seeing exactly how the figure is right out of the box. This one, again, different. I am going to get out of here. But if you want to see what the figure looks like right out of the box, right up here is the His Tactician. That's the Ron Rudet one. And here is the playlist for all the G.I. Joe classified figures so far because I have reviewed every single one of them. Even when I didn't know how to make videos and they were really, really bad. Take care.